It's always the same hard choice, isn't it? What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc, where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you and on my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we're asking a question that I know a lot of people have asked me personally, and that's whether they should upgrade to the new Ryzen uh, 5000 CPUs, or if they should wait another year, year and a half for potentially Zen 4. And it's a good question for a multitude of ways. It has been a long time since AMD was able to claim the mantle for best performance in anything. You know, now they're the best performance in everything, except for a handful of titles they are even been able to finally supplant Intel in terms of the best gaming CPUs you can buy. A lot of people are very excited about these new Ryzen 5000 CPUs, and they should be. Obviously, stock is a huge issue. I don't know anyone personally who's actually been able to get their hands on one yet. And so even if you want one of these new CPUs, this whole video might be slightly redundant, at least for the next couple of months, because I don't know when we're actually going to be getting steady stock, despite AMD saying that they're going to be able to address this problem problem soon. I, I really don't think they're going to be able to. That being said, there are a couple things you have to consider. So if you want one of these new Ryzen 5000 CPUs today, you're going to have to wait if you have a B450 or X470 you know, chipset for the new BIOS updates coming out in January to support them. So even if you can get your hands on a CPU, if you don't have a B550 or X570 chipset for your motherboard, you're not going to just be able to pop it in until January when those BIOS updates come out. The other thing in taking cons uh, consideration is obviously Zen 4. So here's the thing. I tell people all the time, don't give into FOMO, don't upgrade for no reason unless you're a you know sick enthusiast like me and you have to do it most people if they look at their computer and it's doing exactly what they need it to do then don't upgrade i'm actually going to reiterate on a lot of these points when i make my black friday's uh, buyer guide video but zen 4 is kind of in a weird place because we've been spoiled by amd for the last four years we've had fairly good motherboard support doing a quick bios update and being able to throw in the newest cpus obviously we're at the end of a generation because zen 4 supposedly coming out at the end of 2021 or sometime into 2022 is going to be on the am5 chipset we're going to 5 nanometer for the cpus meaning we're going to have an entirely new chipset so the am4 is most likely going to be dead not only that but we're also going to be migrating from ddr4 ram to ddr5 we're in this weird position where AMD finally supplanted Intel, not only in multi-core and parallel processing, but in gaming, which they haven't done forever. And a lot of people are very excited to get their hands on these CPUs when they can. But at the same time, if you go out and you buy a new CPU and you do a full upgrade right now, in a year and a year and a half, you're going to have to do a generational shift and replace not only your motherboard, your RAM, and potentially a few other components, you know, depending on some of the changes coming out, literally maybe in a year, year and a half. Now, for some people, that's not such a big deal because that's kind of like the game Intel's always played, right? Whenever you wanted the new CPU, you had to go get a new motherboard anyway. So it didn't really matter. Matter. But again, being spoiled with AMD and being able to just do these BIOS updates and drop in the newest thing, I like understand a lot of people's kind of rock and a hard place mentality on whether they should upgrade now or whether they should upgrade later. And quite frankly, even though the new GPUs from AMD and from Nvidia look to be great in terms of performance jump, if your games do exactly what you want them to do and play exactly the way you want them to play, then you probably should wait. And it's one of the only times I think I've really been more on that side of the fence because usually I am the guy that's like, you know, no reason to go out and buy a new one. Uh, and then I go on and buy a new one because I'm a huge enthusiast. So I need to kind of take my own advice. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. So if you're planning on doing a major upgrade and you absolutely have to, then maybe this is the time. But if your computer does what it wants to, I'd skip this generation because there's going to be an entirely new shift with chipsets and everything else coming out in like a year, year and a half. And then you can get into the new kind of like platform and then hopefully AMD will continue to support the M5 chipset as much as they supported the M4 chipset. Anyway guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If you thought it was terrible, garbage, leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop next. I'm going to be making my buyer's guide where I am going to touch on some of these points, but I'm going to go over um, not only, you know, how to give you the best odds if you are trying to get these new components, um, how to do that, but also um, all the other things you should be buying if you can't get any of this stuff anyway. There are a lot of things that people should get if you're a gamer that they don't spend any money on. And if you can't get the newest hardware, it may be a good time to upgrade all of your other stuff. So I'm going to go on that in my next video. Anyway, I'm going to continue to make these videos as I always do, whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do. And I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc.